Hey guys, welcome to another video from Historic Military. Today we're going to be looking at a pair of Mausers that are pretty interesting. Uh, this is obviously a Bolo right here. You can tell from the smaller grip and the short barrel. And then we have a regular full-size Mauser, long barrel, full-size grip. And these guns were both made in about 1930, very late 20s, early 1930 at the latest and they're called um, actually a this is a 1930 transitional model so mauser at this time was mostly making bolos and they made bolos almost exclusively through the 1920s a lot of that i believe was to comply with the treaty of versailles which sort of made the full-size broom handle problematic uh, you'll see a lot of red nines that were actually cut down to uh, sort of bolo configuration uh, to comply with the Treaty of Versailles. So Mauser kind of stuck with these. They did make a few full-size guns, but those seemed to be primarily for export or really weird batches. They made like a, a long barrel bolo and some other just strange things. Um, but the first thing you notice about these guns is both of them have a different kind of finish than you'd normally see on a Mauser broom handle. Uh, usually Mauser was using a rust blue, which gave it that characteristic, uh, typical dark blue look. These are a shiny black, and you can just see they're, they're just very, very black guns. And that's because Mauser at this point moved on to a salt blue, which um, they, they stuck with until production ended in about 1937. So this is what all uh, Mausers started looking like after about 1930. And these are sort of the forerunners to what's called the 1930 commercial, which ended up being its own version. And I'm sure we'll look at that later on. But right now, these are actually transitional models. Uh, the Mauser was sort of figuring out where they wanted to go with uh, the 1930s. So you see some interesting changes starting on these guns and, and also some things staying the same. So without further ado, well, let's take a look, closer look at these. Uh, the first thing you're going to notice is this gun is in the early 700,000 serial number range. And it's got your standard proofs. But it also has the Mauser banner here on the side panel. And that's something Mauser had started doing a little bit earlier, but this gun uh, sort of kept that alive. It's got, uh, the machining is almost turned decorative at this point. Uh, you can obviously see it, it's very, very prevalent, but Mauser's almost made it into a sort of a, a decorative pattern on the guns, which is kind of interesting. Uh, the other thing is, Mauser was using fire blue still on these small parts. You'll see that extractor is fire blued. You've got nice bright fire blue there on your uh, adjustment for your tangent sight, which is still numbered out to a thousand meters, even on a little bolo like this. And your trigger is also a fire blue. Uh, flip this guy over. You've got your standard Mauser logo here on the side, and everything else is very much the same. Uh, this fire blue has faded a little bit on this, um, but as you can see, the the body of the gun is now a a uh, black salt blue, but Mauser is still using uh, fire blue for the small parts, and eventually they actually moved to a salt blue for the small parts as well, and those would be black on, on later 1930 commercials. This gun obviously is cut for a shoulder stock, and your serial numbering stays the same. You've got your serial numbers in very typical Mauser fashion repeated twice, and then the last three of your serial number with your NS hammer which is the same as a typical uh, World War I wartime commercial. Uh, this one is actually one of the very first 
of the so-called 1930 transitionals that was made and it is pretty much in in as new condition so that's uh kind of interesting you don't see a lot in in that higher grade usually you still have your fire blue on your um, uh, safety here obviously fire blue on your trigger just like the little bolo we just looked at uh, your mauser banner in the same place and then up top you've got nice vivid fire blue with your mauser markings over the chamber here and uh, a serial number in the 736,000 serial number range and then you know nice typical mauser quality fire blue and everything like this right through here as you can see they really were in peacetime they had time to make these look really nice they polished them nicely again uh, the machining through this the side panel here is almost a little bit decorative and we'll look at the other side of this gun again a very decorative type look uh, you've got your nice fire blue up there uh, with your Mauser standard markings and just the level of bluing and polish and everything like that just really rivals what you would see on some of the finer pre-war commercial guns uh, so just a really nice looking Mauser and obviously the other thing is uh, the grips at this time have changed from the tightly serrated uh, wartime commercial grips to this more wide serrations that you're going to actually see through the end of production they're going to stick with the same pattern all through the 1930 commercials and up until the very end of production in about 1937 with serial number about 921,000. Uh, obviously this gun also cut for a shoulder stock still has your NS safety or hammer and your repeated serial numbers. So just thought um, we'd take a look at a couple of interesting Mausers that started out you know when they were going toward the 1930 commercial and sort of the not really the prototype but just where mauser was headed you can see they've now changed to the to the uh, salt blue and they're going to the really black finish and it just kind of goes in line with everything you're going to start seeing on these guns and then when they drop the fire blue off the small parts that's when you really are at the end of changes pretty much to the mauser uh, the other thing obviously on a 1930 commercial they do use a different safety and we will look at that on a 1930 commercial i'm sure we'll find one eventually and we'll look at some of the differences on those um, this one's just a a nice gun that you don't uh, don't see very often i thought i would share it with you guys um, I didn't know it was so nice either when I was first given the opportunity to uh, take some pictures of it, but it's a very, very cool Mauser. So uh, again, thank you for tuning in. If you like what you're seeing, like and subscribe, and uh, we'll be looking at more military of all kinds. So thanks for watching.